that was brought up um, yesterday in respect to our Deputy Mayor Gooden. Um, again, it, was, it has been essentially a whole stream of events that really um, triggered what occurred um, yesterday in the caucus um, where Councillor Vaughan tabled a, mo a motion um, on the adjournment of importance um, where he essentially asked for the for Councillor Gooden to to um, resign from the deputy mayor, mayor position um, and if not then he will table that motion within the 14 days as per the act um, regulation and and those councillors in that room unanimously um, supported um, Councillor Vaughan motion. Nine councillors. Um, I, I was a bit disappointed that um, the Deputy Mayor chose not to to participate in the discussion and have the his colleagues um, hear his end of the story. Um, we have never heard his side of the story and so he, he lost an opportunity there to really speak to his colleagues. Um, Councillor Novello um, unfortunately was not um, in that session, he, he, he had an emergency just prior to Councillor Vaughan tabling that motion and, and he left. But the other nine um, individuals in there, which I, I, I am a part of, unanimously um, um, supported the motion and triggered that 14 days window for, for our deputy mayor. The thing is, as, as, as elected officials, you have to um, demonstrate many times um, restraint and and and, um, and judgment, and we, we have we have over the past um, period of time that um, the, the deputy has a series of misjudgments, having a young shadow councillor um, socialising um, after hours, um, drinking. Um, um, I, I just believe that when you have young people, liquor, um, guns, egos, that's a recipe for, for, for disaster. 